Mexican authorities have arrested five people in connection to the kidnapping of four Americans. This news comes after suspected drug cartel members turned over the group with a handwritten apology for the abduction and deaths of two of the victims. Mills Hayes is live at the border town of Brownsville, Texas. Mills, what does the relationship between Mexico and the U.S. look like right now? Dan Anthony, we are hearing from multiple Republican lawmakers who are calling uh, for war against these drug cartels, not only because of these Americans being kidnapped, but also because of uh, the record amount of fentanyl coming across the border and killing Americans. But Mexican President Lopez Obrador denies the making of fentanyl in the country and also says that he would not allow any foreign government's uh, armed forces to come in and intervene. Shahid Woodard was supposed to turn 34 this week, but instead he returns to the U.S. in a casket. He just got along with everybody. Woodard and Zindel Brown were killed by a Mexican drug cartel after being mistaken for Haitian smugglers. Crazy to see your own child you know, taken from you in such a way, you know, in, a, in a violent way like that. You know. Well, he didn't deserve it. The Americans traveled from Brownsville, Texas, into Matamoros, Mexico, for one of them to get a tummy tuck. Four days later, survivors Latavia McGee and Eric Williams were found by Mexican authorities. The Medical Tourism Association says Americans can save 60 to 80 percent by traveling for medical care. You know, it's unfortunate that, you know, something like this happens, but um, if they were participating in medical tourism, um, you know, you have to work with qualified agencies, qualified hospitals and doctors and, you know, not, you know, that, you know, that aren't going to direct you to places like this. Eddie Solis goes to the dentist in Matamoros. It's very weird that they do something, but if you're not doing anything wrong, everything is going to be fine. But if you're doing something wrong... Don't go. The Gulf Cartel wrote an apology letter and turned over five members who they say acted on their own when killing the two Americans. So they're claiming, well, these were undisciplined soldiers who were acting on their own. Cartels are really good at information warfare operations and their own propaganda. It happens when the U.S. government exerts significant pressure. Mexican authorities say they have uh, issued arrest warrants for five additional people in connection with these kidnappings. And that is on top of one person who was already arrested a few days ago. And we also know that Texas representatives are planning on uh, introducing a bill that would designate these Mexican cartels as terrorist, foreign terrorist organizations. In Brownsville, Texas, Mills Hayes, Fox 32, Chicago.